Tello Rolling Stock has announced its multi-million US dollar infrastructure project with Vale Mozambique Limitada. The deal is worth 53 million US dollars and will see Tello supply Vale with 16 GE locomotives on a 12-year full maintenance operating lease basis for delivery in January 2015. Now, these will be used for the transportation of coal from its mine in the Moatiz region to the port of Baira using the Senna line. We're here to tell us what this deal means for the economies of both countries is the Chief Executive Officer of Tello Rolling Stone, Ronnie Antuli. Welcome, Ronnie. Good to Hi. have you on the program. Thank you very much. This is a, it's a massive deal. I, I, I imagine... Uh, well, let's explain the importance of it for South Africa. Yeah, I think uh, it's multi multifaceted. Uh, it's important for South Africa. It's important for Mozambique. I think it has some impact on the U.S. Uh, and we bring Brazil and BRICS into the picture. So it's SADC, it's BRICS. Um, the importance, though, is that we are funding Vale for, uh, for their rolling stock requirements on yeah. the center line. Uh, we will own the trains, they will lease them from us, and uh, we'll deploy them into Mozambique um, on a 12-year lease. Um, yeah. So and for us, we're declogging sort of the economy of Mozambique in many ways, mm. uh, the ability to move coal um, and promote trade and exports and investment into Mozambique. Let's and the rolling stock, importantly, is being manufactured in South Africa, so yeah. we have a big benefit for the South African economy. Well, I mean, I'm... I'm the, these are the questions I'm going to ask you. I mean, what yeah. does it mean for the SADC region? And I think you've, yeah. you've sort of, you've, you've spoken about it, what yeah. it's going to do for Mozambique, what it's going to do yeah. for South Africa, yeah. the rest of the region? Yeah, well, we, we are working quite hard in the rest of the region. Uh, we have, we're probably right now uh, pursuing similar sort of opportunities, some slightly smaller, some bigger, believe it or not, um, in probably about 10 countries in sub-Saharan Africa. That's really, really good. Are yeah. you ready for this... Uh, uh, in, in, in terms of capacity, because it sounds like a big, yeah. a big delivery. Yeah. Uh, look, um, our, our, amb our ambition is to contribute to economic development by putting hard infrastructure on the ground, uh, using our sort of ability to mobilize capital. Uh, we have to grow. We have to manage our growth. We think there's good demand. Uh, and we think it's going to change the lives of average Africans. And beyond being a business, we think we're going to contribute to sort of economic transformation in many countries, including our own. Yeah. In terms of employment, how, how many people are yeah. you employing? To work we're a small us? team. We're about 10 people. Yeah. Uh, but you, because we're a, we're a finance house, strictly speaking. Absolutely. So, but if you look at the impact that mm. we make in ordering the rolling stock, uh, these, these trains in particular are going to be manufactured uh, at the Transnet site in Pretoria yeah. uh, between GE and Transnet. So the number of people that are going to be employed there, the people that are going to be employed in Mozambique as a result, uh, that's where the impact comes in. Yeah, and it's just incredible to know that these are coming out of the country. Yeah. And on screen, uh, yeah. these are the pictures of yeah. them. So th yeah. this, this is what they're going to look like? No, these, these are images. Uh, our trains are still in, in manufacturing process. So they, it's yeah. not going to be these locomotives? No, it's, it's not these exact different. ones. It's not these exact ones. Uh, these particular ones are still being manufactured, okay. but we've had locomotives, wagons, and other assets delivered. In, in Even in Mozambique, we've already go, had... Uh, uh, last week, we had delivery of other uh, locomotives into Mozambique. Yeah. Yeah, so. Fantastic. In terms of the different sectors that are going to be impacted, yeah. you spoke about Transnet. Yeah. W w where are we going to feel this? Yeah. Look, let's look, at the, let's look at the industrial value chain for something like this. Uh, the biggest component of this is steel. So if you reverse that steel, you know, most, Africans, most African countries talk about beneficiation because we're still very resource-based. Most countries talk about um, beneficiation of, of, met of the minerals. This is a real example of how you actually achieve beneficiation through industrialization. So from steel to, from iron ore, manganese, into steel and on and on and on, uh, the different components and the relationship uh, to, to industry, there's so much in, in, in manufacturing a locomotive. That's on the upstream. On the downstream, uh, yeah, it's all things related to trading commodities. Yeah. Uh, so it's quite, quite sizable. So and all the service provisions into the mines and into the port and into the railway line. It's quite sizable. So this deal is with Mozambique. Um, you mentioned that there are others in the pipeline. Which yeah. other countries are you dealing with right now? 
Well, I'd love to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's classified can't. information. It is classified information. But uh, put it this way, we are Southern Africa, Central Africa, West Africa, Fantastic. East Africa. Uh, we're looking at transactions. Well, you see, now that's, uh, that's, that, that's what South Africa needs. Yeah. Well, we need yeah. more deals like yeah. this. Look, we, we argue at uh, Tello that uh, the big opportunity for South African industry is growth into the continent. Um, it's a big opportunity and yeah. you know most of our so we have we still have the biggest industrial base on the continent of Africa and to roll that out into the continent is a big opportunity for us. Well congratulations on this deal we Thank hope you. to see you uh, a lot more in studio <laughs> telling us about the other the other countries that have jumped on here but Thank visit you. the website www.tellorollingstock.co.za and you'll be able to see exactly what the company does and uh, and some more announcements from them. Thanks for joining us here on the program. Ronnie Antulli is the CEO of Tello Rolling Stock. All right, let's get you a weather.